which planet did I have to go to? Uh, oh, I still have a lot of uh, stuff in this system to look at. Oh, there's no, there's nowhere to buy uh, probes, is there? Well, I'm gonna stop at these planets and check them out. Venture, oh, Team Venture. A pressure cooker of a planet Venture's thick nitrogen-based atmosphere is also the source of wealth for a small colonist industry. While Venture's high temperatures are brutal, the primordial soup is not as acidic as other hothouse planets, and xenon can be readily collected and isolated from the lower troposphere by recovery bots. This xenon is then sold for use in ion drives and some electric lights. Venture's gravity is relatively low for a planet of its size, making the recovery more economical than would otherwise be expected. All right, scanning time. Well, that is Venture cleaned out. We got plenty of iridium and pla uh, palladium on that planet and a little bit of platinum. Let's head over to whatever this place is. Prospect. Prospect is a hydrogen-nitrogen gas giant with 13 known moons, most of which seem to have dense heavy metal deposits on first scan, starting a resource rush by the colonists from nearby Horizon. In a tragic turn of events, a galactic uranium surplus drove half the mining firms out of business, and the surfaces of some moons are littered with the bodies of executives who committed suicide by airlock. Today's mining corporations have reached a much more palatable equilibrium and hold more diversified and sustainable portfolios. Prospect is within the frost line of its solar system where ice giants do not normally form. For this reason, it is believed to have been an extrasolar capture. Right, it's poor. Ah, the last one was rich, but Prospect is poor. I guess it's probably been very well mined already. Anyway, let's get to it. There wasn't a significant amount of anything on that planet, but there was a nice little uh, surprise of, like, probably 1,500-ish Ezo, so that was nice. There was one big deposit, and then most of the other deposits had, like, a small amount of um, Ezo located alongside them. So, not a bad stop. Is that one that we can go to? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. One more! Wait, what was that? Is it 100% of the what? That's a bad spot for that pop-up to be. Watchman. Perched on the outer edge of Iera's small solar system, Watchman is a mid-sized rock and ice planet that has picked up a dozen moon-sized objects. Its nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere is too thin to support life, with solid ice covering its calcium-heavy rocky core. Footprints of the first surveying team to come to this planet can still be seen on its practically airless surface. The planet, devoid of valuable resources, has seen few visitors since. Oh, so there's not going to be anything here, is there? Oh, it's moderate. That's, that's not bad. Okay, let's see what we got. A watchman had a decent supply of iridium and palladium, but um, I ran out of probes. There's one more left here, but I mean, it's not significant. It's like kind of low to mid-range, if I can center in on it, like, there-ish. So it's not a big deal. I mean, if I'm really hurting for Iridium, I guess I could come back later. And maybe later on, if I'm, like, really trying to stretch whatever minerals I get, I might just go around and search out any that don't, or that um, aren't listed as depleted. But for now, I think we're good. Let's hop on the mass relay. And, uh, which one of these was it? Phoenix Massing, right? Project Overlord, that's the one we wanted to do. Oh good, there's a depot. So what is the fuel for? We still got a thousand fuel. Well, we got more planets to look through, so... Here we go. Sarapai, ever upward, is the second planet orbiting the white star Tas Tasra? Tasra? Sarapai's pressure cooker atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane serves as a greenhouse to an already boiling hot surface. Cobalt compounds are frequently found on its crust, giving spectacular blue tinges to its land. Scans from orbital probes indicate its crust contains deposits of platinum, likely to be as unexplo unexploited as its sister planet, Pahur. Well, Serapai was a pretty rich planet. There were a lot of just deposits everywhere, and there were very large deposits. 
So that was, uh, that was pretty nice. I guess this is the sister planet right here. Pahur. By normal standards, a large rock planet, Pahur, fiery, is constantly scorched by the bright, or the white bright giant it orbits. A, I feel like that should be a the bright white giant. A dense atmosphere featuring hydrogen, helium, and clouds of vaporized magnesium float over its iron-rich core, making for a truly hellish landscape. Its spectacular temperature prevents any practical exploitation. Jesus, look at that. 1445 for the surface temp. Well, looks like we're going to get down there and check it out. Although, for being so hot, it does have, like, a lot of craters. I would imagine that it would be more molten than, that, than this. This planet was interesting because I've depleted it, but there is absolutely nothing on this whole side of the planet. It was just all over here. But look at our uh, look at our minerals. We've got 65k iridium, 66k palladium, 31k platinum. We're doing pretty great. And I think there's still another another planet in this system. We might need to go and uh, stock back up though. Ishasara. <laughs> That's a. I don't know how to say that. Ishasara, I guess? A gas giant, Ishasara is composed mostly of hydrogen and nitrogen. Its orbit in recent years has taken it close to the mass relay in this system, making it a popular stop for scoop ships to refuel the hydrogen in their thrusters before moving on. Is this one rich too? Come on! Ah, oh, it's poor. Alright. Uh, this planet is kind of annoying because it's covered in all these, like, tiny little shitty deposits that have got next to nothing in them and no matter how many probes i fire at this planet i just can't get it below poor status so i think i'm done with them so i'm just gonna leave you here with your poor status and i guess i should go and uh stock back up while i'm here because who knows when i'll run across more planets ah uh, so Was this not actually the, the system I need to go to? Oh, I see there are multiple systems that... Oh, okay, all right. Uh. And you use the fuel to go between them. Oh, I get it, I see. Oh, what happens if you run out of fuel when you're out here in just <laughs> interstellar space? I'm gonna have to go back and explore all those different systems because every every one of them is gonna have a different star that I can go and stop in and see. Oh man. Okay. Well, uh, there are more planets to look at, and there's no there's not a a thing out here, is there? Well, we're just gonna stop in here and do this. I'll look at these planets later. Aita. Aita is an Earth-like world with a variety of habitable land ranging from deserts to jungles to tundra. It also possesses faint rings, an unusual feature for a non-giant planet. The rings contain rocks up to a meter in length and a wide dust cloud that stretches nearly 23,000 kilometers from the center of the planet. This impressive celestial phenomenon, however, is dwarfed by the fact that Aita's largest moon, Lite, is an in an unstable orbit and is predicted to impact the planet within the next two centuries. Knowing that any IT adventure is living on borrowed time, the colonial population and investment has been orders of magnitude less than other garden worlds. Interesting that their capital is disputed. I love that that probably won't even have any effect on the game, but just that they throw that in. Like, there's so much detail into the background world. Look, there are more spots. Who's gonna go in these other spots? I thought we got everybody. Okay, so Kaiden, Liara. <laughs> okay, who have I not taken in a while? We took Jacob last time, and Jack. I haven't taken Miranda in quite some time, so let's take her. So she... 
she's more like biotics and stuff. Who should we take to help kind of balance that party out? Maybe Grunt? Because didn't we take Zayid recently? Yeah, let's try these two together, see how they do. Yeah. Yeah, and it's upgrade time. We have two points, which I can only put into AI hacking. Hack a synthetic enemy so it attacks its former allies. I wonder if we'll come across any synthetics. Oh, look, I'm doing it again. I'm just going straight down the line here. Maybe I should hold off and just, just wait to spend these points. Oh, she's all about the overload. Oh, we could do the big overload. Heavy overload greatly increases overload damage or area. Oh, mm, maybe I'll, okay, yeah, let's, let's give her that. So let's see, your pulse now damages synthetic enemies so brutally that they explode on death. You have increased your pulse's strength to cover a wide area, making it easy to hit multiple targets. I mean, it's nice to have area of effect, but... It goes from 1.2 meters to 3 meters. Now it's 200 points of damage. Oh, everything else is the same. I like this um, added effect of them exploding, though, so I think I'm going to do heavy overload. We got two more points, so we can do warp. Mass effect field damages enemy targets and stops health regen. Or I can give her health damage and squad health. Oh, that'll be nice. Just overall squad health and squad weapon damage. You know, let's do that. Let's give her some like passive buffs to everybody. Grunt. So he can take concussive shot. Or I could give him incendiary ammo. 20%, 30%, 40%. Oh, so just is percentage how much damage is added on. What does this one do differently? It's just extra force, but oh, also extra damage. You know, let's go for that. Let's give him concussive shot. Does anyone have any new weapons? Collector. Particle beam. I did kind of like that. I think I'll stick with the collector particle beam. Runt, do you have anything new? No. And that one, I think we already had three. Yeah. Miranda, I haven't had you for a while, so you might have something new. You do not have anything new. timer? Okay, good. No timer. Just want to kind of look at the scenery here. <laughs> I like looking around at things. Can we go in there? No. Looks like it is only this door that's accessible. They're going to be guys, uh, just wait right in, right in here for me. No? Okay, good. looking at the uh, destruction. I say it's a good thing I took it, but I didn't take it. So, you know what? I'm just gonna do it now. Upon entry and check with security personnel. 
so why why is it that we're so far in the future and we got all this fancy space technology and every computer runs at like 10 FPS I can shoot that out so if I want to get in there Secured from the inside, huh? This is a secure facility. All weapons must be declared upon entry and checked with security personnel on duty. Status report. Please inform the elusive man that we've made great strides in our research. His doubts about the lack of progress are unwarranted. A demonstration is forthcoming. Of course there's money. Med gel, that's good. Where are the baddies? Where are the geth that are gonna pop out? It's a very interesting looking just displays and everything. God, I'd, wouldn't that be cool to have a computer in your room that's just got this like holographic display up on the up on the window? Memo to all project personnel. I understand there's some concern about handling life, geth. I agree it's a risk, but the potential reward is far greater. Someday your sons and daughters will thank you. Oh, did they cause their own destruction kind of thing? Oh. Oh, I see. That's that's that thing. Okay. Oh. Excuse you. How come the AI is a he? Why you gotta assume it's gender? Oh god, you are just atrocious! Oh my god, please. This is an automated security update. Get activity has been detected. Is there a door back here? No. Yeah, I hear ya. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> oh, God, there they are. Oh, he's down. Okay. Oh, he's got shields, that means I could switch over to this. Oh, jeez. Alright, look around. What do we got? Oh shit, we got we got guys shooting at me. Could, could you get undercover, please? And now he won't shoot from here. No flame roasted Krogan. The lady did not say it's Krogan fillet. And I don't know if Krogan's lay eggs, so I don't know if it would be a Krogan egg salad. be a good time to try. Oh, he's protected by shields. Oh. Now I can do it, though. 
Those are bullets up on the counter, but they're like probably cans of food, like I don't know, space Pringles or something. Is that the way to go over there? Because wasn't there uh, something up there? Oh, I gotta look at everything. Yeah, there's a door back there. Okay, which. Oh, back that way is the way to go. Okay, that means I do need to go up and check that door first. Man, this music is really loud. They do here or are they so they were handling live guests does that mean they're like trying to like uh, I don't know reverse engineer them or reprogram them or ah, shit. that might be worth switching to something else Do I not have a shield right now, or what? Or is it just, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't show whenever it's not required to show it. Oh god, thank you for turning that music off. I mean, it's its not like it's bad music, it's just, wow, that was loud. Is the AI gonna grumble at me again? Or the VI, I guess. What's this music about? Tell me that's the VI playing music for me. Hello? Oh, look at the view! Is anybody gonna like crash through the ceiling? What's he gonna do? <laughs> also, is the VI. Attention! Satellite broadcast window is opening soon. Yeah, I get it. Is All th upload data must be approved by your department supervisor. You hear that? This is unapproved. So, I wonder if um, this AI is like a. Uh, a geth that they were like trying to reprogram or something and it just installed itself into their systems. Thank you, Miranda. Okay, could you come up here where I can shoot you? Ah! Hey! Oh, Jesus. Oh. God, I hate fire. Attention. Satellite broadcast window is opening. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. All upload data must be approved by your department supervisor. I don't think he cares about that. Oh.
Oh, palladium, yeah. This is Project Overlord with an emergency message to Cerberus Command. We've experienced a catastrophic security failure and are requesting assistance. We... What do you mean our outgoing cops are jammed? How can it do that? <laughs> So Overlord must be the uh, the AI. Like the project they were working on is Overlord, and I assumed that the project itself was the VI. Satellite broadcast window is opening soon. Yeah, I get it. I know. All upload data must be approved by your department supervisor. Oh, that is that is scary. Oh, I do not like that. Oh no. Miranda, don't look down, it's terrible. Oh god! Ah, why didn't I duck? Thank you, Miranda. Is that it? You guys aren't getting up? Okay. Oh, there it was. Attention. Satellite broadcast window is opening soon. All upload data must be approved by your department supervisor. I'm in. Alright, where are they gonna pop out at? This looks like a room that's just Completely set up for a big fight. Oh, I knew it! Okay, where are they gonna pop out next? Oh. oh god. <laughs> Cover me! Ooh. Oh, Miranda. Uh, which one is it? There it is. Get up, Miranda! This guy. <sighs> what the heck is that? Okay, hack. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> oh, what did he do? What is that? Oh, and he's gone. Look at him. They just, like, dissipate. Attention. Satellite broadcast window yeah. is opening. I know. I got it. Thanks. I just want to see if there's anything around. Although it does not actually look like there's much around here. Can I hop over this? Good. Mr. VI Overlord, sir. Can a robot really be a mister? 
I mean, I guess if it decides that it is. You need to destroy the support struts now. They have their own capacitors. Try blowing them up. Are they up here. Troubling back. What? Ah. Ah. Oh my god! We didn't like that! Ready for more. Oh god, it's another one of those guys. Ah! No thank you! Would you please stop? Oh my god. Wow, they took down... Ooh, even with his, like, healing and everything, they got him. Well, hopefully... Uh-oh, I better stand back. Oh! Oh my god, you should really not stand anywhere near that. I guess that's not the end of the battle. We better... Better wake him up. I'm gonna swap back to this. Hello? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Watch out, friends. Uh, we really should not be here. <laughs> Shepard! You've got to be kidding. Whoa, the whole thing's giving way. Shepard, why did you even think that was a good idea to begin with? Over here! What the hell is going on around here? Man's reach exceeding his grasp. Come on, I'll we got explain. another person who speaks in riddles and like cryptic s statements and everything like that. All right, dish destroyed. Surviving scientist located. Got experience. Got credits. Got palladium. My thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. So, who are you? Who did you say you were? Dr. Gavin Archer, chief scientist at this facility, and probably the only one left. Oh, yeah, by the looks of things. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been... Less than satisfactory. So was the VI a human mind that had just kind of, like, been digitized, or...? Okay, I'm... Uh, tell, tell me... Tell me more. <laughs> I'd hate to see what you'd call a disaster. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed. At least partially. 
My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. So the brother was the VI then. How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. What's the worst case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extra net, who knows where it would end. So a lot of the times I see things in this game and I'm like, oh, that reminds me a lot of this thing from Stellaris. And this really reminds me of one of the um, end game scenarios where there's like the, you know, artificial intelligence uprising. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David, the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. I guess that explains why the, the VI is a he, because the VI was David. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. What happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. So where is his body? Is there still a human left? Is he plugged in somewhere? Tell me about the Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Makes sense Prometheus calling it Vulcan. Prometheus station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. Yeah, more, more symbolism. So Vulcan, of course, because it's the... It's... Oh, there's a plane going over. Vulcan, of course, because it's the um, geothermal, so Vulcan, like volcanology, like volcano. Um, then Prometheus, that's an interesting choice there, because it's this crashed Geth ship that they're using for their, their machines, but... You know, Prometheus being the, the one who brought the gift of fire to humans and was then punished for doing so. What happens on this station? This is Hermes Station, our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Should I say it was a bad idea to begin with? I mean, if, if he knows that with AIs there's no such thing as safe, then why did he do it? But, I mean, Edie's fine. I like her. <laughs> then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you've never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy be then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. Let's see. So he was going to be their, like, the religious leader, so to speak. That's an ambitious undertaking. It will be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. 
hey, what's going to be the symbolism with Atlas Station, since Atlas was the, the titan who held up the world? I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. Driving distance? Do I have a Mako? Oh. Oh, God. What's, what's, gonna, what's there going to be in this room? Is there anything to look at? Oh. Oh, beautiful scenery. I guess there's nothing back here. No money to take. Nobody left their wallets out. Okay. Well, I'm going to save here because... I told my roommate I was going to cook dinner, and it's about time. So if I stay here too much longer, it's going to be too late. So thank you for joining me. And next time, we're going to figure out what's going on with this VI Overlord David guy. <laughs> so good night. <laughs>